Today we're going to be tying a foam unibobber October caddis. Uh, relatively simple and new fly. Uh, we're starting with a number 6 5212 Tiemco hook. Got some 6 aught tan uni thread. Um, going to start the thread right behind the eye of the hook, typical fashion. Wind a nice base level all the way down past the hook, uh, the barb on the hook. Off our tag end. Now I've taken a piece of a sheet of two mil orange foam. I have taken a knife and cut off a strip about the width of the tip, uh, the tip of the scissors. I'm going to lay the foam down on the hook shank and I'm going to secure all the way down. And then I'm going to wrap over the top of it with thread, kind of compress the foam, give it a little bit more flotation. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wind the orange foam forward, making the body of the October caddis. Snip off our tag end. Finish tying the rest of that foam. We've got the body built. Now we are going to take uh, cow elk, cut off a pretty decent size amount. We'll go through, pull all the under fur out. Stick it in our handy dandy stacker. I want the tips of this hair usually to go just a little bit past the body on here, so I'll line it up. Tips are maybe a quarter inch past. Do three soft wraps around the hair. Try to get that compressed down as much as you can. And then I'm just going to take these stub ends, compress this. So now I've got that big chunk of hair pretty pretty firmly attached. It's not going to rotate on you at all. And again, we've got lots of hair, so it should be really good flotation. Take that thread and just kind of tie over the tops there. Now I'm going to take some uh, LifeFlex spandex legs and I'm going to tie in, this is, these are tan, you could also use brown or black probably on this fly without too much problem. I'm going to tie in four legs on each side, so there's two bands and then when we tie it in that kind of classic Madame X style, we'll have four sticking off the sides. Little extra motion on these flies, they do produce quite a commotion on the water. Now I'm going to take some orange ice stub. Take those front legs, kind of scoot them out of the way just a teeny tiny bit. We've got like a little dub thorax there. Now I'm going to take one of our Unibobbers, new product, great little uh, flotation aid, but also nice for visibility. These kind of come out of a plastic stamp, so just remove the little insert there where the eye of the hook is. 
the guy the uh, bobber is. And then we're gonna tie that in place. We'll probably use a little bit of dubbing to kind of bunch that in. tie a hack one. Brown, this is kind of a Cree brown, brown and black uh, feather. I think brown or grizzly even would probably work fine. Tie that in behind the indicator. We can bulk up that thorax just a bit more, help compress everything kind of back to keep that um, thingamabobber from sliding around any place. One of the things we can do to kind of help lock that in, into place is use just a teeniest, tiniest drop, drop of Zappa Gap on there. I'm just setting it on one side of it. I don't think you're going to have to go all the way around on there. You don't want to put too much of that adhesive on, but basically just touch the brush to the far side, right where the dubbing and the indicator meet. Next thing I'm going to do is take my feather, wrap it in a parachute manner around that post. Tie the small head. Snip off my feather stub. finish. And there is a completed high-vis, high-flotation October caddis pattern using a, a cool new technique and uh, material.